Good afternoon. Today is the 8th of June and uh, it's time to record the monthly channel update for June 2023. May 2023 was, I suppose I'd like a sort of mixed uh, month of a channel. In some ways it was it was excellent. Um, put out a lot of videos, some of which you really enjoyed. The Tribe Stag video I think was quite popular. Some of the uh, Kind of parts of Retro Rides Weekend, there were 14 in total, got uh, a fair number of views. Obviously I have worked out that if I go to Retro Rides Weekend again, um, I don't need to make so many parts, which will mean that I will only have one day next year I think, I think that's the best thing to do, because uh, the numbers just tailed off massively um, after sort of about halfway, and that's okay, I think it's probably impossible to film all the cars there um, that are there so we'll, we'll just go for one day it'll be just a bit easier less complicated I think also we had uh, quite a good response to some of the other reviews that sort of came up um, I spent a you know good time um, at the end of April and beginning of May release you know um, filming a lot of reviews, particularly no budget reviews, and uh, some of them have been very successful. I've got one more at the time of recording this, and I don't know when this channel <laughs> update is going to be released, because I'm about to go to Bromley Pageant, actually, and also there is a Hub Nut social event um, on the day before the Bromley Pageant which will be Saturday and Sunday. Saturday will be the, I'm not about Sunday will be one of the pages of motoring. So this update might not come out for some time, but um, you know, never mind. Well, we'll do it because we do it all the time anyway. And uh, you know, I'm excited about Bromley Pageant. Hopefully this time I won't absolutely, I can almost kill over I mean, 10 parts in a day. It's gonna be a big event then because it is the final Bromley Pageant, I think, ever because of the ultra low emission zone expansion that's coming in, in August to London, which means that that particular place, Norman Park in Bromley, would be within the um, ultra low emission zone area. And so like, even if you live there, and I was discussing this the other day with the uh, gentleman who owns the uh, Fiat Brava that you would have seen on the channel and the Volkswagen Scirocco that will be coming later. And, uh, he lives 200 yards within the expansion area of the zone and he isn't going to get any sort of discount or anything like that. Now there are certain cases with this that you, you do get a, a discount if you've got a disability or you, you can prove financial hardship and things like that. So there are discounts available for some people to get compliant cars but I think the majority of people that won't be the case. So. Yeah, we are going to see quite a few more optional emission zone survivor cars coming. You know, obviously the Volvo 460 um, that I've got is one of them. And, uh, you know, you would have seen on the, on the channel, which would be released yesterday at the time of recording this, a video where I go through all the uh, things that Mr. Coleman, Roche Mechanic, has done to the car. There's, there's more to do. But it's in a state now where it's can happily go to shows and things like that. Now, the thing is... It, I don't take that car to all the shows because it's not got cruise control, the dashboard rattle drives me crazy sometimes, and um, there's no air conditioning. Uh, I am currently in the Sanyong, and um, there is plenty of air conditioning. Talking of the Sanyong, I've just recorded a very vague vlog that might come out before this video, it probably will come out after it though, which uh, just explains some of the changes to do with the 2023 Tivoli facelift that will probably come out in this country in about 2024. And also the change of name uh, from Sanyon to Cage Mobility was happening on a worldwide scale, although uh, Sanyon UK themselves haven't confirmed what they're going to do about it. So I think that's sort of interesting. There will be an update as well on this car ownership report, uh, which will be a three year ownership report of this car. Um, some of you are actually very interested in, the, in these cars. There's a video that I recorded last year talking about the issues that, you know, Sanyong Tivoli owners have had with their cars. It was actually, you know, 
really not that many comparatively speaking I think really from a car like this but it's there nevertheless and it's still quite a popular video so we're doing a bit of a report on that. We'll also be doing an ownership report on the uh, Red 45 V6. Um, you might have seen that already actually, I, I don't know what kind of order the, these videos that I'm recording are going to go out in, it's often the case actually. Um, and there'll be an ownership report on the Mercedes C-Class as well. So plenty to sort of get your teeth into. We'll also be doing top 10 best-selling cars at some point this month. We'll go over to uh, Barron's Classic Car Auctions, Marchwood, which is near Southampton, for our annual look at their sale preview. They seem to be pretty happy with me to go over every month and film them and some of you really like that kind of stuff. So we'll go and uh, we'll go and do that. And um, yes, there are more no-budget reviews and just some second-hand reviews that have been filmed. I'm just trying to organise actually kind of more of those for you um, so we have a nice nice kind of backlog of them for you to enjoy over the next few months. I'm also going to more shows uh, this month. There's two actually in one weekend. They're both in this area. There's a show called The Nostalgia Show that happens near Romsey and uh, there's a show at Chandler's Forward at the premises of a, a local firm called Peter Green who um, make furniture and things like that, but they have that an annual classic car show, and I've been invited to exhibit there, which is interesting. Um, so you know, we'll see what happens with that. So, but, you know, an awful lot uh, is, is going on, and I, I do hope that you've been enjoying some of the things that have been on the channel over the last month. One thing I will say is I'm very grateful to all of you who give on a monthly basis, some of you via channel membership, some of you just, just give donations other ways as well, some people give via PayPal, but um, you do get early video access if you are a channel member, and um, if you are a channel member on the Rover 45 V6 set Lado membership tiers, then you get early access to the very vague vlogs as well, they, uh, they come out pretty much on the day we recorded or soon afterwards for those channel members, if that sort of thing interests you, it might not, I mean I always say that I'd much prefer you to you know, watch the videos all the way through, subscribe to the channel and leave a like, that is probably the best way to help the channel out if you want to do so, um, if you do feel you want to give a bit, a bit more, you can give financially and you can buy the channel membership, there's a big join button below but please don't feel you have to, I wouldn't want anybody to feel that, that um, they were obliged in that way. So we've got a lot of things coming up, um, Romney Pad I'm sure will be interesting, but also a, a, a continuation event to that as well called the Leicestershire Motoring Pageant which will be happening in August um, in Leicestershire funnily enough and uh, the people who run Romney Pageant have asked me to have a little stand there and you know I think we've got a good selection of people who are already wanting to exhibit there. I think we've got an organising that probably at the beginning of this year or something like that, a long, long, long time ago. So I have a nice variety of things on that stand. It's a two day event rather than a one day event. And uh, so will be much symbolic shuffling will be occurring because that's what a lot of you seem to like. Uh, some of you like no budget reviews, some people like sensible second hand reviews or classics, some people like very vague vlogs. Uh, some people like contingency reviews because the Renault Capture that I filmed in January is still doing well on there. I uh, will also be returning at some point uh, to film some uh, sensible second hand reviews uh, at Langley Prestige in Chelmsford. I've just actually, um, just actually kind of organised that um, and uh, you know I think it's a very good series to do even if some of you don't find reviews particularly interesting because that's my bread and butter in terms of cars that I source on a basis for clients is that sort of thing um, which is why I find it personally very interesting but anyway I think that's enough of the June 2023 channel update thank you ever so much indeed once again for watching please don't forget to subscribe to the channel like this video in the below and uh, we shall see you again very soon for more not particularly interesting rambling